So, was wondering how long it would take you to track me down. I'm no fool, Highness. First five, then four, and now me. Just tell me, what is your plan? Bewitch all of us and create a harem? <laughs> Don't look so horrified, Highness. I'm the brother who can take a joke. No, actually. I don't know what five and four told you. But I have no desire in joining whatever club you're forming. Well, for one thing, our mother is no pushover. She's not gonna just let you disrupt this good thing she's got going on. That's a difference of opinion, though, isn't it? What's bad for some might be perfect for others. I'm not saying that. Our mother is no saint. Frankly, if I could lock her in the deepest dungeon here, I would. I don't care for her at all. But I'm not stupid enough to mess with the status quo. You may think you're helping, Highness, but you might not be. Just a word of warning. Well, Mother does insist her boys cover all parts of court life. I was shunned here. To the abyss, that is. I don't even really know what this place is. What would you call it? Ah. Yes. The gaming tables. Nobles love to gamble, Highness. And you can learn so many secrets here. I'm a spy. I learn all the secrets and I take them back to Mother for her to do as she wills. How else do you think she's been able to maintain her place at court without a noble husband? Sorry, Highness. Life isn't a fairy tale, even for the precious princess of the castle. Then, you're naive. Or an idiot. Maybe both. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you could. And honestly, punishing me would be a nice reprieve from this hell. A nice cell would at least give me a chance to relax. Stop doing work I don't want to do. What do you expect me to do? Throw myself at your feet and thank you for being my savior? Life is cruel. Better get used to it. Don't! I don't like to talk about the scars. I'm warning you. Ask me again, and you won't find me as pleasant. No, I don't love her. But I can respect her. She works her whole life to get to where she is now. She's a genius. Can't argue with her results. What? What do you want me to say? I told you I'm not grateful. I don't want your help. I don't need it. I don't need you to give me a name out of pity. I'm quite confident in myself. I don't need you. What? You would offer me an escape? From here? You're an idiot. Mother always wins. Always. She's five steps ahead of everyone else. Give it up, Highness. You can't save this family. Let it go. Fine. Your funeral, Highness. No, go ahead. 
Stick your nose where it doesn't belong. See what happens. <sighs> May I go? No. <sighs> you know most people adore you. But I'm starting to see why my mother is wary of the royal family. You're a busy buddy. Then, just do it already. Punish me. God, just let me out of this conversation. Please. You're sadistic. I hate you. Fine, Highness. What do you want me to do? Anything. Just to get me out of this conversation. That simple? No. I can get you it. But what will you do once you have it? <laughs> Good luck with that. Because you're not the first to try and stop Mother. You won't be the last. But see, Highness, Mother always wins. And you? You'll be caught up in the crossfire. And you won't like that. Not one bit. Not a threat, Highness. A promise. Look, do what you want. But don't come crying to me or my brothers when it all comes falling down on you. <laughs>